Hello everybody, I am Fuzzy Face. Welcome back. Today we're back with Project Audi, our Audi Formula One team. Today we've got the seventh race of the season. It's Vancouver, the Canadian Grand Prix, on this Motorsport Manager career. I've got to be honest, I don't think this is going to be the best of races for us. The suspension, the rear wing, are both crucial parts here. The engine is also useful. If we look at our car, they're the worst parts overall for us. We're just nowhere near, even nowhere near average. If we look at the overall, we slipped to ninth. We're now the ninth best car on the grid. Aston Martin have made a big improvement. They've put a new engine in the car. They've got a new spec engine from Mercedes. It has bumped them up the order. Alfa Romeo, whilst they haven't put a part in their car, they have fully upgraded all their parts. Now they've managed to get the performance all the way there it's jumped them right up the order williams we see still above us they haven't introduced any new parts to their car but still above us we haven't introduced any new parts either we've fully upgraded performance wise as well so we've made no gains on our car at all and a lot of that is down to us producing a new engine at the moment we're going for our spec 2 audi engine it's another seven days to go but we will have it in time for our home grand prix although it is a grand prix where the engine doesn't mean as much so but i'm hoping that we're going to get a big upgrade to this engine because as it is we're just nowhere near and we'll just go through the news as well mercedes have made a massive upgrade to their suspension they're up from fourth uh, where they've been all of the season this season as the best car on the grid fourth overall managed to jump Red Bull. Red Bull haven't made any upgrades to their car. Ferrari have introduced another engine already. I think Renault just crept above them, but Ferrari now have the best engine in the game. They have won most of the races this season. I think it was five in a row that they won, and then McLaren won the last race. Lando Norris, he won the last race. Absolutely amazing for them, but McLaren haven't introduced anything new. Who else haven't we gone over? Alfa Tori have got a new suspension. Renault made a pretty big gain on their gearbox as well, so they're going to be hoping to improve. And Prima have taken another new spec engine from Ferrari as well. If we look, Prima should have the fifth best overall engine. As we see, our engine 11th overall now. We're just nowhere there with this new Audi engine. Obviously, it does replicate real life a little bit because, obviously, it is a new engine. The first year of Audi producing engines for Formula 1. We're the only one. We're a works team. We're hoping to get that upgraded as we go on here, but... We've got Vancouver. Hopefully, we can get something out of this race. I'm not expecting anything out of this race, but hopefully, we do have two decent drivers at the moment. Vettel, one of the better rated drivers. Van Dorn does have a big stat boost at the moment. He is refocused, which will last most of the season. He has been performing quite well. He's outperformed Sebastian Vettel um, pretty handily so far. The last race was Vettel in front, but Van Dorn has got the most points between our two drivers at the moment. If we just have a look. 20 points for Van Dorn, 8 points for Vettel. So, hopefully, we're going to have a nice, decent race here. Hopefully, a steady race. It is 41 laps. Fuel burns high, tyre wear high. So, a little bit, uh, yeah, the temperature is going to be quite high. So, it might take some management of the tyres during the race. But, hopefully, we can get some out of it. But, we'll see how we do in qualifying in just a moment. So, here we go with qualifying. We seem pretty handy in practice. There was a little bit of rain which affected our running. We did seem pretty handy once the rain had stopped. Obviously, the AI and the other cars possibly running different stints to us. But we're going to be able to see what we do here. We're going to send Van Dorn out first. And Vettel not too far behind. We'll just let it go pretty quickly here. We'll get through qualifying. See where we can get here. Hopefully, both our guys can do a decent job with their temperatures. Good and overheated. Perfect and overheated. So Vettel on for a better lap than Van Dorn, it looks like, on the first outline here, on the first run in qualifying. Hopefully we can get through here. Vettel, Van Dorn way off the pace. Vettel though, pretty close, two tenths off over the first sector. That would be over Giovinazzi, who's got the quickest time in the Alpha at the moment. Um, Hunkem or would it be over Hunkenberg? Yeah, probably over Hunkenberg, because Hunkenberg has done his lap. Got out pretty early, have a lot of the upper tier cars, which... Isn't usually the case. They're running a little bit differently here. It's usually the cars lower down the order that come out or not. Through oh, it was Giovinazzi going quicker. Quickest in the Alfa Romeo. What is that? Alfa Romeo going into poor position on this first lap and wait look at West Slow. I knew we'd be so slow around this track. I wasn't expecting us to be this slow. Currently twentieth and twenty second. How are we so slow? How is Giovinazzi so quick in the Alfa Romeo? Oh, we've got an Aston Martin up there. We've got two Williams, fifth and sixth. 
this is crazy at the moment. Look, we've got the McLarens all the way down the order. So I'm guessing just the balance of the cars over where they can be. Look, who's that going out? Giovinazzi's going out pretty early this time around. He's out earlier than a lot of the other cars. Maybe we should get out in some clear air here and see what we can get if we've got some clear air to get Van Dorn out of the pits at least. And then get Vettel out with the other runners. Even though Van Dorn's been doing better, Vettel is still our best option here. As we go on, should we get him out in clear air? We're just waiting for the other cars to come out. Should we jump? We've got a Mercedes coming out. We're going to jump. And we're going to get out of the pits here. Out in front of a Renault, but some nice clear air for Vettel here. So we're just going to watch Van Dorn since he's going to be starting his lap right about now. Giovinazzi is not going quicker, as we've seen. But the track grip has gone in quite a lot here. I don't think we've got any rain coming. No, no rain like we did in practice. Hopefully there's going to be no rain during the race. I would like a nice... Although, if we do got rain, that might be a, one of the ways that we can get up into the points here. Van Dorn going slower here. Look at Vettel. 24 for Vettel. It's just way off the pace here in Canada, although Vettel is going quicker. But it looks like he's going nowhere near as quick as he needs to get up the order here. Although, he's a little bit quicker in the second set today. He managed to keep up to about half a second down. Still a long way behind. Are we going to be able to see Vettel get about halfway up the order here? He goes 10th. That is a big improvement, although I don't know if it was Bottas that pushed him there, but he gets pushed outside the top 10 into 11th, which is good for my strategy because although I think we're going to go aggressive from the start, we don't want to lose places at the start, and we're seeing other cars coming now, but that is a decent position, 13th overall. 22nd for Van Dorn. That is atrocious, pretty atrocious, really. Four attempts off his teammate. Obviously, I don't know what happened on Van Dorn's run just not there at all so we'll just go through quickly we'll get click 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 come on come on come on <laughs> so we're going to take the ultras as we saw uh, there was a little bit of rain which hampered our running during practice so we're not quite there we're pretty much there with the setup it's 41 laps here oh we've got rain from the start we do have rain from the start so we have to go on this inter which can go to about lap 25 it looks like we're going to have a wet race for the full race here, so... Yeah, we don't have to worry about tyres too much. We don't have to worry about strategy in the early going. Has the temperature dropped? Oh, no, the temperature is still really high here. So we're still going to have to look after the tyres. But anyway, let's go down the grid as we usually do. Pole position. Well, look at that. Mercedes, a big improvement this time around. The two silver arrows on the front row of the grid for the first time this season. It is Max Verstappen, followed by Lewis Hamilton. Antonio Giovinazzi managed to hang on at the front of the grid. An alpha, third place. Absolutely outstanding qualifying for him. Albon in the red bone gets his best qualifying of the season so far, I think. Out qualifying his teammate, Fernando Alonso, puts that red bone Honda into fourth place. Then we've got Charles Leclerc, fifth place in the Ferrari. Lance Stroll, sixth place in the Aston Martin. Kevin Magnussen, the Williams, 7th place. Daniel Ricciardo is 8th in the Renault. The other Williams, two top 10 places for the Williams here as Latifi is 9th. Hunkerberg in the second Ferrari, 10th. Perez, 11th in the Haas. Bottas, has he got a dodgy neck? Yep, a lot of dodgy necks going around here. Bottas is 12th in the Alfa Romeo. Vettel doing what he should have done, 13th place. That's good enough for me in this in our Audi car, which doesn't suit this track at all. Lando Norris, after winning the last race, finds himself all the way down in 14th. Ocon. All the way down in 15th in that Renault. Schwarzman 16th in the Prima with that new Ferrari engine. Russell 17th in the Aston Martin. Newgarden in 18th in the Haas. Then we've got Alonso all the way down in 19th in the Red Bull. Followed by Pierre Gasly in the Alfa Tauri. Sainz finds himself all the way down at the back of the grid as well. From that McLaren. Van Dorn just escaping the back row of the grid. And then on the back row we've got the Alfa Tauri. Yeri Vips in that car. And then the Prima. Schumacher even with the upgraded Ferrari engine finds himself in last place on the grid here. So we're going to jump in. We're going to follow Vettel in the early going. Unless, unless Van Dorn can get a really good start. Actually, let's go down. and look. Vettel gets a really good start. Verstappen off the line pretty quick. He gets a massive gap over his teammate. And Vettel flying up the order here. Let's get pushing. There's no actual rain on the track at the moment. So these tyres are not quite suited. So we don't want to make too much of a mistake. Van Dorn has managed to make up a few places as well from 22nd. But Vettel flying. Makes up six places going through. A Williams and Aston Martin. That is strong. He's going to get Albon as well. And he's that Leclerc as well. Vettel gets himself up into third place here. An absolutely outstanding start. Gets himself behind the Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton here. And that is Stroll coming back at him now in the Aston Martin. Should we push here? 
Vettel doing a masterful job as the rain starts to come down here. Yeah, it looks like the rain's going, we're going to have to go two inters, it looks like, at this point, from this point forward. Verstappen, Vettel sets a quickest lap of the race. We've got a little bit of a gap to that Ferrari. We don't want to use too much of this tyre up. We don't want to go too hard on it because we do want to make sure that we can get it to at least lap 25 just in case. And Ricardo, Ricardo has lost the front wing. It looks like it's usually the front wing that goes missing. Um, it looks like he's going to get penalised as well. So the race pretty much over here. Although the damage doesn't look too bad. He's not losing places to the Aston Martin. Well, he's not losing too much time. And he manages to get past Lance Stroll as well. I don't think anyone else is damaged at the moment, are they? Oh, it's Kevin Magnussen. It looks like Magnussen and Ricciardo have had a coming together. But Vettel still in third place here. He's under pressure from Charles Leclerc. Van Dorn himself, meanwhile, is doing a good job at getting up the order. He's made up six places himself, although we say that. And that is the Alpha Tori of Yuri Vips going through. We're just going to keep pushing for a little bit here, or should we just... I don't really want to put him to auto drive too. A lot of cars locking up there, which gives Van Dorn an opportunity to get the run on Yuri Vips. Although Yuri Vips, a masterful switch back there, gets back around Van Dorn. These tyres getting a little bit too hot, as I said. I want to make sure we can manage them as far as we can. Obviously, Van Dorn can't go as far on these inters. As we see, he's not as smooth a driver as Sebastian Vettel. 17 laps left on this tyre. Yeah, he's definitely gonna have to go for into so maybe we can get the jump although we do want to make sure that this is even if it's still a wet race we do want to make sure that it is a one stop on the inters there's no benefit of trying to go for being aggressive and going for a two as that is alexander Albon that has managed to get past charles leclerc here ferrari even with that upgraded engine it seems they've lost a little bit of pace in other areas maybe their car not suiting this track as much as the mercedes mercedes just flying away here obviously we do not have the power to keep up with the two Mercedes cars. As you saw, we've got the ninth best car on the grid. And this car not suited it as a, just not suited at all to this track. It's just it's quite a shot that Vettel is so far up the order here. And he's got about a second back to Alexander Albon at the moment. As we see Van Dorn set a drop back down the order. He's caught in a massive gaggle of cars here. He is around the likes of Schumacher, Russell, Vips. Norris has dropped all the way back. McLaren after that amazing race. Last time around, we've got Norris in 20th. Saints all the way at the back. McLaren off the pace here. Obviously, they didn't make any upgrades to their car this time around. And we see Vettel lock up. Vettel locks up Magnussen. And Ricardo finally decided to pit. Took him a long time to get into the pits. As Magnussen come in and back out in front. Yep. So they're in, they've got a fresh new pair of Inters on that could be the race over for Daniel Ricciardo though this time around. Renault definitely not having the best of seasons here overall. They're currently fifth, they've got the best car. It is on a par with the Ferrari. Mercedes and Red Bull are another step further back from the Ferraris and Renault but Renault just totally not putting it together here at all. But yeah, we're just managing here with Vettel. Um, we're getting away from Alexander Albon. He's dropped about two seconds behind now. So we're just going to start cooling down a little bit more. We want to go as far as we can on this first set of Inters. Although we might need to make a jump if we see cars coming into the pits. Although I forgot to go over beforehand. Although we do have a little bit of risk with the pit stop, don't we? That is a thing. Although it's only 16%. We do have Rick Verl. I guess that's how you say that name. Balance it is. There is a little bit of risk to the pit stop. But we do have... If we look at this for a pit stop, uh, we do have to change it for a tyre. If we do just have a quick look, it should be, look at that, to change the tyres and the strategy of a balance. We are at a sub two second pit stop now. Managed to make some more upgrades to the pit crew. I'm quietly confident that we do have the quickest time on the grid of pit stops here. It's Van Dorn, he's totally overheated on these tyres. We're going to have to slow him down. Um, I think we're just going to put him in auto drive since he's so far behind. We're going to concentrate on Vettel since he is our main option here and a podium dare i say is on the cards obviously we do have a ferrari and a red bull the aston martin the williams the alpha a prima a haas starting to fall back here so it could be at least a fifth place here for us if we just play this right and keep vettel going here obviously he's got a massive gap here so we might as well just speed up quite a bit um yeah just keep an eye on Van Dorn. He's currently 20th. He's still around those two McLarens. This is going to be a good race for Prima. Is this going to be Prima's first point of the season? It is. 
if Schwartzman can hang on to this, then Prima would score their first points this season, leaving only Alpha Tori as a uh, as a team not to score points this season. It's a little bit of a uh, disappointment for Alpha Tori. Obviously, they do have the worst cat, and that's a mistake from Staffel <coughs> Staffel Van Dorn. Uh, he's locked up. He says he's flat spotted his tyres. Uh, we're not going to do auto pit for him, we'll still manage the pit stops at the moment, but it doesn't look like he's got any sort of hope of getting back up the order. Maybe if we get him into the pits, maybe if we just take back over, we're just going to... We're just going to go for it with Van Dorn, just experiment with Van Dorn a little. Just get him pushing. Uh, we'll get him through those tyres, we know he does have to pit again pretty soonish, so... He's got no chance, I don't think he's got much of a chance of making a one stop. Even with a one stop, he's not going to be able to get up the order as Vettel. Now, four seconds ahead of Albon, we've done a good job of cooling these tyres down. We've got the we've got the fuel back to a normal level. We're improving on our last laps. We're doing a 145.9, so we're keeping the pace there. We've got about half a second on the Ferrari. Yeah, just losing time to the Mercedes though, out in front. It's still Verstappen ahead of his teammate, Lewis Hamilton. And as we see, that will put, if this stays the same, it will be Lewis and Max on equal points. But Leclerc still a long way ahead here in the Drivers' Championship. Yeah, so we're just firing away here. We're just, we're just trundling along. So let's just speed up here as we go along. Let's just run down the order quickly. Is anyone else up here? Ocon has managed to get himself into the points. Ricardo still running here. If not even managed to keep pace with this Williams of... Oh, Van Dorn. Is Van Dorn under... In investigation he has he's had a coming together with Schumacher so we said we were going to experiment so we might as well get in um, it's going to tell us if there is a big risk here as well although it looks like the front wing is not making too much of a dent to the times at the moment oh, and we've got a drive through penalty with Van Dorn yeah so definitely definitely his race is over just what we didn't want let's just watch him come into the pits make sure Everything's fine. That is still quite a quick pit stop. 4.6 seconds with the tyres and the new front wing. We're just going to put him on auto drive again The Van Dorn's race is over here. I don't think we can re-swap him for Verline, but his seat is on the line if we do have too many bad races. Obviously, he's had a couple of good races, but Verline is always there waiting. And that is Van Dorn. Van Dorn's now done his drive-through penalty. It looks like Schumacher had a drive through penalty as well, because he still stayed behind us. But yeah, Van Dorn just majorly behind here. So it's all about keeping this gap. We're just pulling ahead of Alexander Albon as well. Um, we're overheating as well on these tyres, just running medium, even though there's rain here in Canada. The temperature in the air is so hot, the temperature must be so high. We're just burning through these tyres, 37%, obviously. We've gone through them a little bit quicker than the Mercedes have, but we're sort of on a par at the moment, 37%. We're on a par with what the Red Bull and the Ferrari are at, which is what we're hoping to stay ahead of here. We're about four and a half seconds up on the Red Bull, hopefully. We don't have a mistake in the pits. Oh, look at that. The rain is going to get heavier towards the end of the race. I don't think. Are we going to have a point at the end of the race where we're going to sort of think about going on to full wets at some point? Look at that wind. Is aware. Yeah, they're conserving as well. So we're just going to switch back down a little bit. We don't need to do too much more than that. We're going to keep some fuel in the car. And we're going to try push when we're thinking about coming to the pits. The Inters can go down too. Is it 5% or is it 0% when they fall off the cliff? Obviously, we want to go as far as we can. And uh, yeah, look at that. There is going to be a period at the end of the race. Six laps where the wets are going to come into effect. So are the AI going to go for that? Are we going to go for that? We've got a lot of cars starting to come in and do their first pit stops as well from the cars that are sort of following along. Were they? No, is there any of these? Yeah, Latifi was in the top 10, was he? No. Magnussen, because of that early pit stop, put themselves back into contention here. Obviously, though, they do have to make another pit stop. So is that a, a reason? No, they're not going quicker than us. Even on their new new attire, I was wondering whether it would be worth coming in uh, a little bit early since I'm thinking we're going to have to go on to wets for the end of the race. We can make that point at any point now, so it's just a matter 
should we just get going here? We've got a lot of fuel sort of saved up in the car. And we're seeing the red bull start to push now as well. So yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna go for it a little bit here as well. See what we can get. Try to keep this four second gap. Twenty seconds we should be able to get out in this battle. We should only lose two places coming into the pits. Yes, we should. So we've made a nice job of getting ahead here. Should only drop two places out of the pit, so we're not going to be stuck in any sort of traffic. Obviously, we're going to wait and see if any. Oh, Leclerc has made a move. Leclerc has made a move early here. He's coming in with 16% left, so I think just to avoid any sort of undercut going on here, we're going to get into the pits as well. That would be 1.9. That would be 2.2. We're going to go safe just to make sure we don't have a mistake in the pits that we can't afford to lose three seconds here I'm gonna have to think about uh, swapping some of our outstanding pit crew out for the next race oh tires yeah tires overheated that is perfectly fine because they're just about yeah and we still got a mistake on that we lost 2.3 seconds although the red bull is in he's a little bit closer to us so we're gonna push on the way out of the pit oh we don't want to push too much do we maybe go high we're still 3.7 seconds ahead though even though we lost that two two what was it 2.3 seconds 2.7 we lost through the pits we lost quite a bit of time albon is out he's pushing although he doesn't have the luxury of the fuel load that we have van dorn is up into 21st so that is not too bad for him he's managed to make up a few places even though he did have a drive-through penalty i think he did the drive-through and verstappen is the first to react of the mercedes He's gone a lot lower with that tyre, 12%. Hamilton's still got quite a bit of life in that tyre as well. Hamilton's going at least another two or three laps. So is Hamilton, is it going to be hammer time for one of the silver arrows here? But look at that. Um, even so, there's eight seconds. Eight seconds. It looks like it's going to be Verstappen's race here. It looks like we're going to be pretty comfortable here as well. We've got that four and a half second gap back to Albon, which is what we wanted. So we're just going to go here. We're just going to move along, obviously. We're not going to get anywhere near Verstappen. Hamilton, meanwhile, if there's a mistake, if he goes through those tyres too quick, I'm guessing he's going to be coming in after this. No, he's coming in this lap. He didn't actually have the pit symbol up at any point there. But Hamilton is in and out of the pits. He's still 16 seconds ahead of us. We're 5.2 seconds ahead of the Red Bull behind, so we're just going to conserve fuel once again. We're going to try to cool down as well try to get back into the optimum temperature Albon is pushing it looks like against all the odds here somehow we're going to get a podium if we can make that happen if we can go ahead and get a podium here would be absolutely outstanding and we're just waiting for that point yeah look wet full wet weather at the end well not fully wet but wet enough for the tyres at the end of the race what are we going to be able to get out of this 20? Is it going to be a move to go for wets at some point during this race? Since we're in such a nice gap, we can sort of react to the AI, whether they go ahead and do it. Obviously, they're ahead of us, but we do have the two Mercedes to judge whether the AI is going to do that. Hey. Obviously, we can experiment with Van Dorn as well. Van Dorn is sort of our outlier at the moment since he's so far behind. We could pit him for a wet just to see whether the wets do start performing over the inters at some point. Use him as our sort of test dummy sort of thing. Just as our tester. As it is, this Red Bull just doesn't have the pace on us at the moment. We're doing 143.8s. The Red Bull, we're not going to be able to see. They've been pushing this lap. Let's just see what we can do. Just being a medium... On both points, a 143.8. Albon comes across the line as a 143.4. So that's with him pushing through most of that lap. He's not much quicker than us. Obviously, we do have to manage it. But we've just got a lot of fuel left in reserve here. Obviously, we've got a heavy car at the moment. Which we're possibly going to have to start burning some fuel as well. But we're just doing pretty nicely at the moment. Should we have a lap? Should we just go in high mode for a little bit here? See what sort of a gap we can get. We're down to 12 laps remaining now. It's just a matter of whether this wet weather is far enough from the end of the race that the AI is going to judge it to go on to wets. And Van Dorn is overheating on these inters. He's not going to get through to those wets either. 
doing what this AI is wanting him to do. So we're just going to back up with Van Dorn at the moment. We want to see if we can get him onto wets at some point. Get him as far as he can because he does have to go on a wets. There's no point going on to Inters for a few laps. We're going to get him onto the wets and just see what he can sort of do. Russell has gone for the Inters. He's done his second first. Russell's done his first stop. No, he's done two. That was saying one coming out of the pit. So I was like, how has he got this far doing one stop? Wasn't making much sense. But yeah, if we just back up with Van Dorn here, we're going to be able to get maybe another five or so laps out of this tyre, hopefully. It does say he can do four. So yeah, if we if we keep in a conservative mode, we might be able to see another five laps out of this tyre. Vettel, meanwhile, comfortably get to the end of the race on this Inters. It's just whether the wet weather is going to be heavy enough that the wet, yeah, we see the rain starting to get a bit heavier now. The track has darkened over. The rain getting heavier. The tra track temperature, the temperature in the air, dropping drastically over the next few laps here. So, uh, even in conserve mode, it's going to be these temperatures are going to drop pretty rapidly. Van Dorn is moving up to 18th as we see a lot of other cars come into the pit. So, we're going to get. We're going to do it this lap. We're going to go onto the wets and use him as a sort of guinea pig. He's going to be a guinea pig here. We'll go we'll go balanced. Watch Van Dorn go two balanced pit stops. Have no mistakes. Vettel goes for the safe, safe pit stop and gets a mistake. So here we go. Van Dorn is into the... Yeah, look, no mistake. And we're out here. So Van Dorn not in traffic either. He does have fuel. So we can use a Van Dorn as our guinea pig here. And just see what sort of lap times Van Dorn can put in. Obviously he's got a nice clear track. He's on the wet tyres already. And we can just sort of judge that. We're five seconds ahead as it is over Alexander Albon. Leclerc not managing to claw back this gap either. The Ferrari not suited to this track. Mercedes massively must be suited to this track. Just so far ahead. Although Hamilton is starting to close up. His Hamilton's still going quicker at the moment. He is about five tenths. So if Hamilton keeps pushing, although I don't think he might not have the room to keep pushing in that car. We do have room though to go. Have we seen a lap time from Vettel uh, Van Dorn? A 1.46.4 after that first lap on that wet tyre. Are we starting to slow down here? It looks like we're losing time per lap here. Has anyone jumped in for wets other than us? No, they haven't. So, oh, that was, I think that was Vettel saying that he wanted to go onto the wet. Obviously, we can't just decide that we want to go in for wets because then we would need everyone else to pit as well to do the same thing. We're not losing too much time over the previous lap. The track's not getting too wet. Yeah, we're doing a 146.7. What is Van Dorn going to do this time around? We're getting to the point where Van Dorn is end up, going to end up being lapped if these wet tyres don't start to work more over the Inters. Uh, Van Dorn does a 147.7, so the track is getting wetter this time around so that is not indicative so four seconds there between the two tyres on this lap as we see Vettel is starting to slow down I don't think we're going to hit the pits this time around it looks like everyone's going to try and get these inters through to the end of the race we I'm not going to actually go over tip mode we don't want to risk any sort of mistake and Van Dorn is 21st he's the only car on these wet tyres so he does have a chance of making up some positions here because he is on the right tyre for the track at the moment. He should be a lot quicker than these cars in front. Yeah, and a lot of cars are now starting to come in for the wets. Is there enough time to pick up? It doesn't look like the Mercs are coming in this lap. They're, obviously, they do have the luxury of being so far ahead. Van Dorn is doing a 149. Vettel did a 149 last time around. We're going to stay out. Don't think they, yeah, the Red Bull's not coming in. Leclerc. Leclerc's not coming either, so it looks like everyone at the front is staying out. But these were sort of reacting to Van Dorn being so quick, it looks like. But Van Dorn is now on the back of Magnussen as well. There is quite a lot of time here. And Van Dorn being, coming in for this wet tyre. We do have room to push as it is. So Van Dorn seemingly somehow get up into the points here. Giovinazzi's made the swap to wet tyres as well. Um... We're going to have to see if a Mercedes reacts to this wet weather. Doesn't look like they are. I don't, yeah, there's definitely not enough time. If anyone does decide to come into the pit, this is not enough time for anyone to make up the gap. 
but Van Dorn is getting pretty close here, although the rain has stopped, which is going to work against Van Dorn. The track is starting to get back into the range of the Inters. I don't think he's going to get high enough to get points. Um, Bottas is about four seconds, three seconds ahead. And there we go. It looks like the track's gone back to the crossover point. But that is good enough. Look at that. Van Dorn has managed to get himself up into 12th place here. Absolutely outstanding. Going onto that wet pretty early. Worked out really well for him. And meanwhile, Vettel just cruising along here. He's got about five seconds on the red ball behind. Moves on to his final lap. He's going to come across. Should we push for this final lap? The track's drying out. 1.4. This wet's possibly going to go off as well, though. Is a problem. Yeah, this wet's going to go off before the end of the race. He's under pressure from a Renault. Dot can't push too much. Vettel does come across the line in third place. The two silver arrows. Hamilton got it a little bit close, didn't he? Just two seconds behind Verstappen and Hamilton there. Is Van Dorn going to be able to hold on with these wet tyres? Obviously, we do have the luxury of being quite fresh on these tyres that we can push. We didn't manage to get Latifi in the end. But 12th place from Van Dorn. That is a decent result for him. Vettel, absolutely outstanding. Podium finish. I thought this was going to be a disastrous race for us. With the car not being suited to this track, the engine being so far behind, us being ninth, the ninth best car on the grid, I thought we were just going to be so far behind, but just worked out perfectly for us. Absolutely perfect, yeah. Ecstatic with that. Just didn't think this was going to be a race for us at all. I thought it was going to be a race where we're languishing in 14th, down towards the back of the grid. But yeah, absolutely perfect. We see Stoffel van Dorn got his drive through penalty. Ricardo did as well, managed to get himself back into 13th. Not as good a job as Van Dorn, although Van Dorn, a lot of that was him going onto that wet tyre, picking up so much time over those cars that were around him. But another 15 points on the table here that moves Vettel above Van Dorn now in the driver standings with this podium. Our first podium of the season. I didn't think we were going to get a podium in our first season, but obviously just worked out for us that amazing start from Sebastian Vettel absolutely flying off the line puts us on 43 points now overall closing in on Renault somehow we're close to Renault that is absolutely outstanding Prima did score points but Williams fell out of the points so Williams and Alpha Tori the two teams not to get points so far this season Haas, Alpha, Aston Martin have all scored points Aston Martin should be doing a little bit better than this Williams should definitely be doing a little bit better than that no points here after seven rounds of the season. But for us at least, that is an absolutely outstanding result. Driver form, both drivers were off form, obviously. Van Dorn not the best, but he did do well at the end. He's not really been on form this season, but as we look at his results, he's got a fifth in there, a sixth and a ninth. Um, Dubai? He didn't race in Dubai. Is that taking? What is that taking? I don't know, maybe he did. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, because Vettel was missing those races. So yeah, look at that. If we look at that, a twelfth, a ninth, a twelfth, a seventh, and a third from Sebastian Vettel. Outstanding weekend, second overall for the weekend. Still losing one point three million though. Which is not too bad. Um just go ahead and Verline's listening to often. Verline wants out of this team because Vettel not because Vettel, but because Van Dorn has grabbed his seat. Uh, Stoffel Van Dorn ran straight into the back of Mitch Schumacher today, who told us that Van Dorn shouldn't be allowed to race after that. He's an idiot. What do you think? I'll just say that. Oh, it's going to upset Frederick, but it's going to keep Van Dorn happy at the moment, which is what we want. And meanwhile, yeah, so we should have our engine built for Vancouver. No, not Vancouver, for Munich, for our home Grand Prix. Uh, brakes, front wing and suspension. Our brakes are pretty decent. Our front wings are pretty decent as well. Obviously the engine is lacking but we should have this nice spanking spec 2 engine going in the car. Hopefully that is going to make a big improvement for us. We've managed to get a podium out of this out of this car that is not the best at the moment but hopefully the next race we're going to be upgraded but until then I'll see you down the road in Germany for the Munich Grand Prix but until that time goodbye. <laughs>